So it looks like Square One Finals are underway. Uh, we'll try and give you some live updates on the aver potential averages that these uh, competitors are getting. Um, so as far as methods go, um, I believe Max, Samir, Daniel, uh, and I know Yiha and Calvin all use uh, CSP, OBL, PBL. CSP, of course, being the method for not getting, being able to not get parity while you inspect and do cube shape. Um, and normally there are five different steps, uh, cube shape, uh, then oriented corners, then edges, and permuting the corners and edges. But most of uh, these other competitors, they will do a step called OBO, which is doing the, all the corners, orienting all the corners and edges at the same time, and then the permuting the corners and edges at the same time, which is pretty quick. Um, as we see, Daniel is going into his first solve. Looks... Slips a little bit there um, on first off, 694 for Daniel. Yep, so, so OBL and PBL, not necessarily around in the time that you were um, top dog, mm -hmm. but CSP, something that you're quite familiar with. Uh, a lot of these people will be using uh, Kale's method of tracing, which right. is looking at certain colors uh, and the order that they're in, as opposed to kind of blind tracing the cube, which is what Daniel Carnock actually on the blue stage on your right hand of screen does yep. for parity. Uh, Hassan is starting his second solve. Uh, already finished OBL five at four. It's a little bit slow for him. Seven sixty for Hassan. It's a little bit lucky on the turning, but we turn our attention now to Max Shao. He's the current world record holder. Samir is also inspecting his cube. Samir finished with OBL at three. Five twenty eight for Samir. He's not quite happy with a five twenty eight. Yeah. We'll see what Max is able to do on that one. That's not very good Max, for him. Max seems to get a really long PBL there. Um, Locking up a little bit over on PBL as well. Um, so Samir, pretty well on the lead. Yeah, he has the fastest solve that we've seen so far. Look at some of the other solves. Kelvin Nielsen with a 613. Makoto Takoga with a 680, as well as, uh, as tying Max Shaw's first solve. Okay, so your top four seeds from this final, all from the United States, from fourth to first, Daniel Karnok, Hassan Kanani, Samir Agarwal, and Max Shao. United States has a stranglehold on this event in terms of the world rankings. Mm -hmm. I don't really see it likely that any person other than an American slides onto this podium. Yeah, it's, it, I think they're definitely the favor here. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see Max or Samir take this, but they're... Square one is a event where it highly depends on your turning and your nerves at the time because the puzzles is not the easiest to turn. So it does require it, very precise turning at the best of times and at a high level. Yeah, and competitor experience, competition experience in general is going to help a lot uh, yeah. with an event like this. Um, Daniel seems to be starting to solve. Rasmus, does that left uh on the red stage right side here. Right. Rasmus does not use OBL PBL, but his turning is extremely fast. 637 for Rasmus. Kelvin with OBL at 5, so he sneaks into 7. Probably okay for him. All right, so it looks like on the red stage we have, uh, yeah, we have Hassan and also Max about to begin inspection. But Hassan is in inspection at the moment. 3.5 OBL. Looked like a pretty fast Hassan. OBL, but 6.12 for Hassan. Max Daniel still Karnak gearing up for inspection. Yep, Daniel Karnak had a 5.58. Um, Jiwon Park. Jiwon Park with a 6.62. Oh, Asher got a 5.20. Just about to touch on that. Yeah, we've, yeah. we've missed Asher Park's second solve, but he's actually just netted himself a PR single with a 5.20. Congrats, Asher. First PR of this finals. Would be great if we could see many more. Still waiting for a lot of the second solves uh, for most of the competitors. We saw a Max Shell got a 6.10, so... And Samir, now he's just inspecting his second, tracing CSP. Yep. 
Currently, Daniel Karnak with a slight lead over Max uh, with a 6.9 and a 5.5. Max with a 6.8 and 6.1. Samir very with a 560. Fast, very fast SPS. That's going to be really that That's going to be really good for him. He has a 528. So he has two sub six singles uh, going into the third solve. Oh, of the Rasmus. competitors we've seen so far, Samir is very, very consistent with it and also really quick. Consistent and fast is key for an event like this. And it's really, really hard to be consistent in square one where it's so dependent on the cases that you get. Thanks. Daniel Karnak with a 551. Oh, Hassan with a 497 solve. That's a pretty good, that's going to be a good single there. Um, unfortunately, the first and second solves were not too hot for him. Um, but with a solve like a 4.97, it does give him a real chance to net a really good counting time if he's able to get close to that again. Yep, definitely. Um, yeah, it looks like Rasmus did DNF on that last scramble. Um, Look at some other uh, competitors. Makoto uh, got a 7.05 on the second solve. Max Shaw just locking up a bit on that PBL. That's his third solve at 5.61. So that cheer that we heard just before was for Jamin Chang of Korea. He's just netted himself an Asian record 4.92 second single. Congrats, Jamin. Um, a good showing from the home sport. Yep, yep. Um, we just saw Max Shaw with a 5.61. Um, So it looks like, at least from these initial solves, I, I, I do want to see Samir's third solve, which I believe we're panning to now. Uh, but right now, Max, Daniel seem to be uh, well in the running, though Hassan could obviously count that 4.97 uh, to get a pretty good average. Um, Iha with a 6.20. Oh, sorry. That was a, a warm-up solve. solve. <laughs> Rasmus. And Rasmus, yep, 6.88 for him. Yep. Unfortunately, okay. Rasmus is going to count that eight second solve, so it might that that probably puts him out of the running for podium here. Counting an eight when you're looking at five second averages, it's yeah. just detrimental. Samir here with a 5.33. Now Samir has three sub six singles. He he's very comfortably in front at this point. You hit with the 684. Daniel is about to start his fourth solve of this average. Um, if he can get the 694 to not, to not count, he does have a pretty good chance to podium. Um, oh, Hassan with an 816 in the back. That's going to make the 760 count, unfortunately. Um, and Max Xiao. Has just gotten a 7.42. Oh, that's plus two. Oh, plus as two, well. a 9.42. So he's counting a 6.8 and a 6.1. So he's fallen yeah. a fair bit behind Samir here. So Samir, Samir, of course, still only on his third solve. He has two more to go. But Max Shaw can tell you that his best possible average, his fourth was a 9.42. So quite a big range in that. No, I think there's an error there. Jiwon Park would not, that solves either. He has a 660, two, 547, 594. So if he can get, stay at this pace, he could be in the, also be in the running for podium here. And it'd be a great home victory um, since he is, um, he's in his home country of Korea. We turn our attention to Samir, left-hand side of blue stage. He's in pole position at this moment, really taking command of this final. Whether he knows that or not remains to be seen, but he is in a commanding lead for the time being. Yeah, if he gets a sub, if he can get a sub six on this solve, that'll put him. That that I believe that pretty much locks in podium based on. He what does we've not seen. need a whole lot to lock this one. If he's able yeah. to get another five-second solve, mm -hmm. that would make it. Samir. Checking the cube shape parity. This oh, is that OBL is really 2.5. This is really quick. 
There oh, it is. 5 six, 15 for Samir. 5-15. Samir has just about locked this world championship in for himself. The most consistent solver that we've seen coming into this round, netting himself four five-second solves, and he's locked it. He doesn't even need to do his last solve. No matter what happens, he is almost certainly your world champion for 2023 in square one. Daniel Karnak also starting his last solve here. Unfortunately, he's going to count the 6.6, .6, but let's see how he does in this. Obiel at four seconds, 6.01 for Daniel. So that's good. That, that's looking about a low six average for Daniel, 6.08 average to be exact. Asan with a 666. Ooh, Max got two plus twos this competition. That's not gonna... Unfortunately, that means, does mean Max is out of podium, unfortunately. But huge congrats to Mir. So remember that Samir basically has locked in sub six and... Yeah, pretty much... I'm looking at these other ones. He's, and he's almost, he has absolutely locked himself in for world champion. But yep. looking at a few other names that we've seen here, Park G1 we were talking about before, had a 6.62 on the first, some consistent fives, but now on the fourth solve has a 9.89. So he's counting that six from the start of his average that was looming over him from the beginning. So Park G1's best possible average could still get him on the podium. Samir inspecting his fifth solve now. This is basically just a victory lap for him. Pretty much yep. nothing he does on this one is going to affect the fact that he will come away as your world champion for 2023. And he seems to fumble that last one, but huge congratulations, Samir, uh, with that 5.4 average to get the world champion title. Uh, for 2023 square one. Over half a second clear from the results that we've seen so far. Sitting yeah. in second place, Daniel Karnok at 6.08. But, but let's see Puck G1's last solve here. It turns really fast, whoa. Oh, oh no. no, 7.7 for G1 Park. And he's going to yeah. finish outside of that podium. He does net himself a PR average of 6.78, but it's not going to be enough to land on the podium this time around. Wow. That's really unfortunate for him. He doesn't seem disappointed for that, but it's still a PR average, so that is the silver lining for him. And even um, counting that seven with a fumble on the very last turn. So it looks like we we, bl we pretty much have our podium locked in. It's in, th in third place. Yep, I believe we have our podium locked in. Hassan Kanani, third place. Second place, Daniel Karnak with a 608 average. And your world champion, Samir Agarwal. So and it's a full USA podium, which was a bold prediction before this competition. Or not so much a bold prediction. It is what we expected would happen. Missing a couple of other top players, as particularly David Epstein from Australia. I would have liked to see him in amongst the mix as an Australian myself. However, with him outside, it's going to be a full podium for the US of A. Michael making that prediction uh, right before, and I don't think it's...